Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at RetroArch and how we can play PS1 games on our PS Vita using this amazing application which runs a whole bunch of different emulators if you're not familiar with this application. I do have a video on how to install this and it will work on 3.73 H Encore 2 and uh, all previous uh, custom firmware and I'm running off 3.60 Hinkaku Enzo permanent custom firmware so let's take a look and see how we can start playing our PS1 games and on 3.73 H Encore 2 you're unable to use adrenaline because it's not compatible yet so this is your best option to play PS1 games and unfortunately you still can't play PSP games with this uh, application or this emulator whatever you want to call it so when you run adrenaline for the first time and you have all these different ROMs all these different games installed on your Vita you have this option to scan and have these different sections of each console and each game but unfortunately it doesn't do that for the PS1 and I'm not sure why uh, maybe it's the games that I've chose to demo or the the games I chose to play um, could possibly affect the reason why we're not having its own category with all the different games under it just like this one uh, we have the Game Boy Color uh, we have the original Game Boy the NES and things like that so the first thing we're gonna do is access our main menu and that's our first option when it comes to all of these different selections here we have net play music history favorites and you can see the name on the upper left hand corner we have settings and main menu so let's go under load content and make sure you have your ps1 games in the available folder so you have quick access to them and mine are going to be under the uxo folder just because that folder is specific to the sd2 vita that i'm using that has over 200 gigabytes of space and we're gonna go into my ROMs folder which is where I have all of my games and I have different folders for each different console and here we go here's our PS1 games so access your folder and if it doesn't see anything that's because adrenaline won't be able to read that file or there's no certain core that will play that file um, as you can see all these different games are the dot bin files so they have to be dot bin they cannot be ISO or any other uh, sort of file type let's choose Crash Bandicoot for this demo let's select that and right away we have different options and these are all of our different emulator cores you can see Atari emulators, Commodore emulators, and at the very top we have the Sony PlayStation Core, and that's the current core that I loaded. And I'll show you how to do that, so that's the first option in the selection here. But if it's not there, you can always just go up, and it'll take you to the bottom, to the S section. And from here you should see the Sony PlayStation emulator and how I loaded my core is I just use this option select which core to use so you can just go in here and just select the Sony PlayStation and this is the PC SX rear med emulator oops just press triangle so I'm not gonna load it just cuz it, it does restart uh, retro arch here so let's go back to our game and select our ps1 game so here's crash bandicoot let's select the sony playstation core and it should load up there are some games however that will not work like i do have street fighter alpha 3 and for some reason it's not working and i do have this uh, video statistics going up so i'm going to go back to the main menu and i'm going to go under my settings and on-screen display, on-screen notifications, and display statistics. I'm just gonna get that out of there, and that should go away. There we go. And the game should load, no problem. I was playing CTR for a while, 
and it was a lot of fun. And I'm not sure why the audio is not working here. Or maybe it is, my headset just turned off. Yeah, there it is. And at the very top, you'll see my frames per second and the memory used. So we have 59.94 uh, frames per second, which is great. Let's start the game. Now I did notice that the audio is like not perfect. It does kind of glitch a little bit. It's kind of weird. So as you can see, the game is running just fine. And I'll go through this entire level so you guys can see that it does work, no problem. For all those who are on H Encore 2 or 3.73 H Encore 2 and want an option to play the PS1 games on your Vita. And you guys can just wait until they update it later on. And I haven't seen too much glitching going on or any crashes um, this core is not like the greatest adrenaline is number one when it comes to playing the ps1 games and the psp games but this is not bad at all this is a great option for all you guys who are on the uh the h encore 2 and i get a lot of people saying hey when are they gonna uh, update this how can I play ps1 games PSP games and I wanted to really bring this video to you guys so you will have some fun with your ps1 games and so far so good the controls are great they respond well oh and I just died with two masks too damn and if you want to change a game you can just press down and select and that will take you to the quick menu and you can load content you can uh, here's the quick menu sorry here's the resume restart close content take screenshots save state save or state slot load state and all sorts of different options and settings here so one thing I wanted to mention is that retroarch does crash sometimes when you're closing the content it happened to me a couple times I'm not sure why but the whole application just shuts down and I had to restart everything. Uh, no big deal, just because I, I was trying to close and choose another game. But uh, I know I said I was going to finish this level, but I don't want this video to go too long. So let's close this content. And hopefully it doesn't crash on me here. Perfect. And now we can load another game. And I believe that Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 3 Alpha was not working because there's two different files. I'm not sure why there was two. It's kind of weird. But let's run Crash Bandicoot 3 and run the uh, Sony PlayStation Core here. And it says on the bottom, no PlayStation BIOS file found. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Because it's running just fine. And it skips through the PlayStation uh, intro, the logo, and like the warning or whatever. And it just goes straight to the game. Which is awesome. So let's start a new game. And I think this is one of the games that didn't work. Uh, this one, for some reason, gets frozen. And I wanted to show you this just to let you guys know that not every single game is going to work. And I did get this game from the same website, same way I got Crash Bandicoot 1. And I'm stuck on this black screen. And I'm not sure why it does that. So let's go get out of here. Close this content. And I'll load up. Uh, CTR, another game I got from the same website and the same way I installed it like the other games. So let's load that sucker up and check it out. Crash Team Racing dot bin file. 
load up the PlayStation Core. Add for better com compatibility. So there is a little lag or like a little glitch with the sound. But I played about an hour and a half in this game and I beat the first world no problem. I went to the second world. Well, I didn't go to the second section. I was just kind of trying to gather all the relics and other like time attacks and stuff like that. And it was running smooth. I was having so much fun. This is one of the games I grew up playing with my brother and such a fun game. Like if you haven't played this game, you got to play it. It's a lot of fun. Can I load a game? Oh, there's my game, but I don't think there's no there's no progress. Yeah, I just started right from the beginning, which is kind of sucky. But let's see if I can load a state. Yep, there's my load state. Wow, there's my four trophies, my my uh, my relic, and one key. So I did get all these other uh, places unlocked and ready for like the coin, the CTR coin and the relic so I can do time attack and things like that. And what you do to save that is pressing down and select and here you could just save state to the or uh, save a state to the currently selected slot. And you can uh, change your slot by going to here and just selecting which slot you would like to save your state so there's a whole bunch wow there's like a hundred so that is it for this video guys and hopefully you found this helpful if you did give it a thumbs up any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future thank you so much for watching <sighs> hesitated there <laughs> thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one.